so hello everyone back again with another video and in this video we are gonna move forward in our food delivery app so in our previous video we have just uh, learned how to configure our app by using the google uh, json files from the fire store firebase and just uh, integrating that files in our uh, flutter application okay so in this video we are gonna move forward and learn how, um, what other things that we can do so in this video we are just gonna learn how we we can just log in our um, uh, user okay and how we can sign up and uh, again we can all we will also learn that how we can store the data of restaurant and uh, store that data in our fire store okay so for using the database i have used the uh, cloud fire store okay i'm not using the firebase real time database i'm using the cloud fire store okay so for your ease i have just made each and everything that uh, we have we will do that is i have made the login screen i have made the sign up screen and each and everything i will just only tell you about each and everything because these are the things that i have talked in detail in my art drum app where i have talked about the authentication i have done the same thing that uh, i have done there so i'm not gonna go in detail okay I'm just gonna um, move over through over that okay and tell you each and everything okay so this is our first way that is main dot dart where it has the things that everybody knows it has a home page that take us to the root page and in that root page we will just only check that is user signed in or not okay if user is signed in I have used uh, some of the complex things but uh, these are not for you to um, go in details but um, if you wanna go in detail I will definitely talk about that but uh, you know that I am working on a project so I am not gonna um, tell each and everything about that because it will consume your time also and it will consume my time also so only this thing I am gonna just tell you that the overview of this root page is that the uh, you, uh, firebase sorry the application will check whether the user is signed in or not if it is uh, he, if he is signed in then he, he will be redirected to the home page or if is not redirected is not not signed in he will be redirected to the login screen okay so this is the login screen okay where you can see that this is the app bar and this is the body where it has body okay it has a widget of show body where is show body yeah you can see that it asks for two to three things it has a logo email input in password primary button secondary button, and error message what is the error message it will error message will show that when a user just clicks the button when there is no data inputted okay when there is no data then it will definitely have to show something so this will be the error message you can see that this is the error message okay so it has a logo that will be um, that you can directly read, um, take from the assets part or you, you can use anywhere from that you want like using from the uh, url that i have talked about in my many of the videos okay so i'm not gonna talk about that in this we have a input field um, this is the input field okay we have a password and we have a primary button for the uh, login and uh, what you can say sign up okay i when the user clicks on the secondary button the secondary button is the um, what is the secondary button let me check yeah secondary button is a flat button which asks for us to create a account if user does not have an account he can directly sign in using this secondary button he can directly clicks on it and it will be taken us to the uh, sign up uh, form okay i am just doing that if when the user clicks on the create account he will be uh, the text of the button that is login will be changed to sign up okay and everything will be same if he, he has to just give the username and the password sorry email and the password and rest things are same when uh, the user signs uh, sign ups he will be redirected to the home page okay and in this home page um, i have just used uh, 
bottom navigation bar yeah bottom navigation bar and in that i have used the curved navigation bar and if you haven't watched my curved navigation bar um, the video will be in the playlist or you can see the channel the curved navigation bar just uh, gives the animation part it doesn't do any of that thing but um, for a app the animation and the ux part ui part is uh, more important so i have added a curved navigation bar over here okay I have talked about the curved navigation bar in very much detail in two of my videos one will be in the Ghana app and one will be in the yeah, curved navigation bar okay video so just go over there and learn how we can create curved navigation bar it simply has the two to three icon that we want to have and um, in that uh, we can directly use a tab for just uh, mapping the uh, navigation bar button with the body part okay so it has a to do list uh, in this this widget is simply empty it ha it i was working on this so i have just uh, made some of the things but let me show you what i was doing yeah this is the widget of to do list basically it has a list of some of things that um, the restaurant will have let me just summarize what it will have in future it does not do uh, anything here but in future what it will do that if a customer ask for something food or orders a food in our app then the food will be displayed on this uh, part okay and when the customer just right swipes it uh, okay then it means that the, the order is ready and it has been picked by the driver and if uh, it left swipes it means that the order is not ready and order will not be prepared for some of the reasons okay so the order cannot be uh, delivered to the customer okay so we will that we will do that in future okay and you can also see that uh, we have one more thing here yeah we have two things that these are not anything but we have a restaurant profile in this restaurant profile we want the user okay see you can see that this is the visit of restaurant profile and you can see that I am asking user for the mm, restaurant name mobile number address Aadhaar number and a pan number okay so first thing will be the uh, restaurant name that is what will be the restaurant name and second will be the mobile name third is the address okay and um, fourth will be the Aadhaar number and the pan okay so for the people who are not living in India Aadhaar number is just similar to your SSN number okay each and every person has a uh, Aadhaar number like we have a SSN number in foreign so these are thing and PAN number is also a same type of thing okay so it will ask for these four things and when we we have a material button here which will ask for the update okay so when the user comes here for the first time it will just give the detail of this thing and will click on the button and when the mm, he clicks the button the data will be uploaded to the um, database okay so I currently I have done only these things okay you can see that how we can upload the data so if you want to know more about how we can do uh, the data from file store to cloud file store so you can go my video wa watch my video or I am gonna explain each and everything that is for um, uh, storing a data in file store we have to get document reference if you have uh, worked with the uh, firebase database then you know that there is a database reference but here we have a document reference okay so document reference will have a um, file store instance and a collection like there we have a firebase dot, dot get instance dot get reference okay if similarly we have a, a collection collection is the reference part and inside that we have in real time database sorry here yeah, real time data we have to get the child so we will go to the document part okay and in the document we will store each and everything okay so we have just made a model class for that okay let me show you this model class which is the model class this one yeah this is the model class where I have just uh, 
have four things, four to five things: name, mobile address, GSTN number, and PAN number. Okay. Uh, and after that, I have just created a constructor for each and everything, and I I will just converted these things to a snapshot part and to a JSON part. Okay. These are the things that will take data from our object part to this uh, Firebase. Okay. So and when this uh, data comes okay um, it will be set to the reference okay you can see that we have a object over here and we can directly set that object to the json part this is the way where we in which we can store data um, in our the firebase database and this is the way in which we can store our data to the uh, what you can say cloud file store okay i have done these two things but in future i am i am gonna only use cloud file store i'm not gonna use the firebase database okay so real time database so it was just for a sake of knowledge that you can just upload the data from here to there okay so let me show you what it will do okay so the i have just uh, installed the app previously in my phone and let me just one second yeah okay so where is my application one second guys let me configure start my recording okay so you can see that this is the uh, food restaurant app too let me open it okay so you can see that uh, come on yeah it just redirect us to the uh, our home page okay you can see that we have a curve navigation bar over here and i have talked about the curve navigation bar okay and here it is load firstly you can see that one thing it is loading then it it is asking for the uh, data data we have because i have used the future builder okay when because the user id is di directly retrieving from the uh, firebase database so user is a thing that user id is a thing that can be um, delayed okay uh, over the network so i have done is that i have used the future builder when the user id comes after that only we will have a uh, will these thing displayed okay so these are the things okay so when i will just uh, let me just show you the database oh, come on yeah okay so this is the database okay if i um, just update our restaurant name mobile name uh, anything else it will be uploaded and displayed here okay so let me just uh, set a restaurant like code cave restaurant mobile number let it be 8764321010 uh, aadhar number is a uh, number so i will update that later and it is the address okay one second address and after it it ask for a other number and we will give a pan number random now things okay so when i click here you can see that the data has been changed okay so these are the things where we can do things but um, we want that the when the user has already given the data it should not ask here for the data to be updated because the aadhar number and the pan number are the unique thing that a customer has so after asking for the first time he should not ask that okay so we will do that things in our next video okay so firstly i will show you how the you uh, what you can say uh, sign up screen looks like okay let me log out okay so this is the login screen okay so it has a email it has a password it has a login and it has a create button when i click the create button only the data changes okay you can you will understand that only the first um, first button that the create account button is a button and, and below that there is a flat button okay uh, when i click it again it changes to data that is we have 
use this set state okay and uh, when i give the credentials over there it will take us to the uh, main thing okay so that's all for today guys if you like the video i know that i haven't talked much in this video i was just asking you to move forward in that video that video that video but i thought that i should give you these things so that you may understand what we will do okay so in our next video what we will do is that we will just use these uh, floating action button and by that we will just store the data of a floating action button to our database okay so that's all for today guys if you like the video just give it a thumbs up share with your friends and if you have any uh, problem regarding anything just comment me down and i will definitely get back to you on that and if you want to have a one-to-one -one conversation with me and you can follow my instagram page okay and or you can just join our whatsapp group i have given the link in the description below just follow me over there okay you can just we can have i have created a group and we can have one-to-one -one conversation over there also okay so that's all for today goodbye